Hi, and welcome to another video from the InPhase training team. The following video will provide you with troubleshooting steps to take when the comps kit Zing B stick is not displaying LED illumination when plugged into the IQ gateway. The first thing you'll need to do is power cycle the IQ gateway. Locate the IQ gateway breaker in either in the IQ combiner box or in the system controller. In the combiner box, the gateway breaker will be located in the middle breaker position. For the gateway breaker that's located in the system controller, the gateway breaker will be in the bottom right breaker position if there is no generator installed in the system, or if there is a generator, the gateway breaker will be in the upper right position, typically on the outer poles of a quad breaker. Turn the breaker off and wait one minute before turning it back on again. If the comms kit is still in the black enclosure, remove the four screws holding the case together using the T10 star bit. Remove the USB stick from the adapter cable. Plug the USB stick back into the gateway. Verify that it is powered by looking for the blue LED on the stick, as shown in the picture on the right. If the Zippy stick LEDs remain off, move it to the USB port by swapping it with the mobile connect. If the Zippy stick lights turn on, check to confirm that the mobile connect LEDs are also on. If the Zippy stick lights turn on, but the mobile connect LEDs do not turn on when swapped, the gateway has a faulty USB port and you'll need to submit a gateway RMA request in the Enface Installer Portal or Enface Service Manager. If the Mobile Connect LEDs turn on, but the Zippy Stick lights do not turn on when swapped, insert the Zippy Stick into a computer USB port or a portable phone battery. If the lights remain off, contact Enface Support to request an RMA for the communications kit. It is best practice to bring a spare communications kit on site to resolve defective communications kit issues without making a second trip to obtain a replacement. Thanks for watching another troubleshooting video from the InPhase training team.